know, our band reached its 20th birthday, and well, we we did a few shows in the Northwest, um, including in Seattle. We, you know, we've changed bass players and drummers over the years, and we managed to get all of them there really? for the Seattle show. That was, and they all did a few songs. Yeah. Each did a few songs, and then actually, John and I embarked on a, an acoustic tour for our 20th anniversary. Just the two of us, we went around Europe and. You know, took night trains to Serbia? parts of Serbia and did all sorts of things, played in Luxembourg and just had a great old time. Right. Well, we actually appeared on it. Right. Um, <laughs> which I think is kind of, I'm not sure that's that's been done actually. It's not it's not yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I did a track for it and John, did you do a track for it? Yeah, I did a track. And also, did you play on another one? I did. I played yeah. solo on uh, the version of Dream All Dance. Our band is like a band's band, you know, in many ways. We're one of those bands that seems to have launched a thousand other bands. And that, I think that's totally cool. I think that's really, that's really quite an honor when you think about it. You know, if, if what we're doing inspired someone's imagination to leap into action and start their own thing, I mean, I think that's just amazing, actually. Between the two of you, uh, solo records and the other products you prepare, how do you decide what makes it into a part of these albums as opposed to what you keep for yourself? Or do you make that decision, or do you guys kind of get back together and say, let's write this part of these records now? Well, I don't know a good answer to it, really, for you at least. I, mean, I, just, I just follow my instinct, I guess, on it. Some of it could be poses and material. Right. I will say I personally like to write for the occasion. Most of the songs I did for this album, I wrote like thinking, okay, it's time to write this album, and what what do, what do I want to say within these, you know, between the the, the two book covers? What do, what do, what are the words I want to put in there? There are a couple things that I sort of to get things rolling. I had a couple songs around that could have on my solo record, but I think they sound better with the band. Do, do all kinds of things as you're, as you're walking around, as you're looking around, are you always thinking lyrically, or are you looking at this wall and thinking like, you know, a song about Torso, or was it a rent tour? I mean, well, I wasn't until I walked in here, but <laughs> now that you mention it. Love is the Doug hat. Um, <laughs> I love your Torso Doug. How do, you, how do you keep that this in your mind when you go to write? I think that's what's so interesting. It's like, you're always... I think the human brain is always on, it's always recording, the red light's always on. And it's interesting to know, you know, that your brain will sort through all that and f sort of find useful correlations and meaningful juxtapositions and things like that. And, and, you know, it's not hard to regurgitate that stuff as art and lyrics. I know that people who don't consider themselves poets or writers or whatever, I'm sure they have interesting dreams, and that's all it really is. It's like it's like you're taking, s like, illogical logic, juxtapositions that might seem far-fetched but suddenly lead you to an interesting destination. A lot of the lyrics that I think John and I write come off as total enigmas, um, but they start suggesting things. And then you follow the leads in, in your head if you want to. I mean, I, I know I do. If I listen to John's lyrics, like, okay, where's he going? It's not a neat little package yeah, with us, you know. I think, it's, I think it's more akin sometimes to maybe not as out there, uh, like Robert Pollard does or something. You know? Some people would say maybe what he does is just string you know, nonsense together. But I beg to differ, you know, because it, if, it, if, it, if it makes you feel and provokes a reaction, then I think it's a perfect word for it.